Look, you have to know this about me. I think about everything. You might, you might want to call it overthink. I'd love to describe it with a German word um, that doesn't actually exist. Zerdenken. With this prefix zer, we can describe how the verb, here thinking, dissects things. It breaks them apart until only their elements lie in front of you. That. I do that. All the time. And as much as I wish I could record me saying light-hearted things to make just a funny voiceover, it always ends up being way too deep. That's just the kind of conversation you have with me, I think. I think. And now I'm going over all the conversations I remember to analyze if that is actually true. Anyway, as I was saying, I think, arguably, too much, um, especially when I'm by myself, like right now, recording, and whenever else I have to break the silence for a conversation. When you have nothing to say. When you have nothing to say, speak anyway. People enjoy being spoken to all the time. It makes them feel visible, important, trusted, comfortable, calm, inspired, open, or just human. It can be quite lonely not saying anything at all, so when you have nothing to say, speak anyway. When you have nothing to say, Talk about your favorite things. I'd like to tell you how much I love sleeping and go into detail about cherry jam. Get lost in my thoughts with you. Imagine the world full of rubber ducks instead of cars. Wonder about why we say fired when somebody loses their job and theorize with you what ifs about Hermione Granger being the protagonist in Harry Potter and asking what might happen next in Game of Thrones. Laugh about a joke from How I Met Your Mother. Exchange your favorite YouTubers and watch them together. I'd like to tell you about coffee and how much I miss Portugal. The deep love I feel for Italy and how much I miss that until, you know, until I have pee in my eyes. I'd tell you about the pizza in Naples, about the friends I found there. I'd tell you about the magic of the place, go on and on about its history and how superstitious the people are, and wonder if there is a spark of truth in those, or where they came from in the first place. Then tell you about Hell's Gate, that is right around the corner from Naples. Describe you how that smelled, talk about smelling, what a weird sensation it is, unfiltered by the brain, how we recognize people by their smell, and how we end up liking one another based on that too. Just, just a few, a few of my favorite things. If you have nothing to say, just tell me about your day, your week, your month, your year. Tell me about what you had for breakfast. Did you like it? Tell me if you slept well. How you're sleeping most of the time. What it depends on and if you also feel as though the full moon affects your sleep sometimes. Hmm. Tell me about how you enjoy the weather. What do you do when it's too cold or too hot? How do you feel? And if you think the weather is the main contributor to your mood and thoughts too. Hmm. Tell me about everything that happened leading up until this very moment. Everything that brought you here and everything you want to do from here on out. Tell me about the now. What's going on with you, right this second? What do you think about? What do you imagine? What do you remember right now? Tell me about the people you met. Tell me what you think about them. Tell me, tell me how you see them. Tell me about your perspective. In fact, I want to know your view on everything. What do you think? 
about this world. Do you like it? When you have nothing to say, don't worry. Don't beat yourself up for not being entertaining or funny or interesting or talkative, outgoing, inspiring, in insightful or cute. Don't make the silence seem awkward. Just enjoy doing nothing together. Don't feel pressure to answer. Don't stress yourself out. Don't overthink. Just relax. No need to check your phone and look busy. No need to quickly glance at the clock or, or quickly leave. Your presence is appreciated. Every little bit of it. Your presence is appreciated. Every little bit of it. Talking or not. No need to say we like each other. You're here. That's what counts. But don't hold back on my account. Don't worry about saying anything wrong. Say everything you want to. Then change your mind on it completely. Mid-sentence. Don't protect my feelings. Don't be appropriate. Don't try to always be smart. Don't be perfect. Don't be afraid. Or do. Be afraid. Be depressed, obsessed, anxious, nervous, worried, angry, upset, sad, lonely, helpless, confused, irritated, embarrassed, shy, silly, ignorant, smart. Be all the things. Forget this be who you are thing. It's only led me to the question who am I? Or who do I want to be? For me, just be.